Another one of my favorites in Office 2010 is in Microsoft Word 2010 is working with tables. I do a lot of work with tables in Microsoft Word 2010 and what tables give me is some really nice structure to work with. It gives me columns and rows, sort of keeps my thoughts together from one cell to another cell. It's easy to format tables and that's the design of this video is to show you how you create a simple table in Microsoft Word, how you enter some data into the table and how you make some formatting changes to the data to the table itself. Enjoy the video. I'm in Microsoft Word and I'm going to demonstrate the process to go through to create a quick table. I'll take my mouse above the ribbon to the tab that says the word insert. I'll click to change the look of the ribbon. The fourth button from the left on the ribbon is the table button. I'll click on the table button. I'll get a drop down grid. And in the drop down grid, I'll just use my mouse to identify how many columns and how many rows I want on my table. So in this case, I want to have a table that has three columns and four rows. So I put my mouse in the first cell of the drop down grid. I hold my left mouse button down. I drag to the right, marking three columns. I'm not, like, not letting go of my mouse. I'm going to drag down four rows. I'm just about to create for myself a three by four table. I'll let go of my mouse. My table's been created. Now, once the table's been created, a couple things happen. First of all, above the ribbon, an area called On Demand Tools shows up. And in this case, it's sort of a yellow color called Table Tools. The second thing that happens is I get up on the ribbon some different uh, parts of the ribbon, in this case the table styles show up. If for example I want to be able to change the look of the table, all I need to do is just to move on to the table style area. Now I'm not actually clicking with my mouse, I'm using live preview here, I'm just hovering over top of the different choices. If I want to see more choices, I can go to the scroll bar to the right of table styles and click. And there'll be a long choice of different table styles I could work with if I chose to. I'm going to scroll back up again and click on the one called plain tables. Now that I have my, my table built, I want to enter some data into the table. So I'll make sure I'm active in the very first cell of the table. I'll do a little bit of typing. And then when I finish typing in that cell, on my keyboard, I use the tab button just to the left of the letter Q. It tabs me over to the next cell in the table. I'll type in the content of the next cell. I'll touch tab again. I'll type in the next cell and touch tab again. It takes me on to the next cell in the table, which is in this case just happens to be the next row of the table. I'm going to type in for maybe for a hospital, an emergency department. They're on the main floor and they've got 32 staff that work there. They also have an oncology department and they're on the third floor. Oh, mistake there. On the third floor and they have 18 people that work there. And I'll go to the next row and I'll type in surgery and they're also on the main floor and they have 27 people that work there. Now I want to put a brand new row on the table so all I need to do as long as I'm in the last cell of the table is to touch tab on my keyboard and that will automatically put a brand new row on the table for me. And in this case I'll type in uh, radiology and they're on the second floor and I'll touch tab again and they have 19 people that work there. So it's really easy to add information onto a table. All I do is I type and I touch tab and to add a brand new row on. All I do is I touch the tab button at the end of the table. It puts a brand new row on for me. We saw in the last section that if I want to add a brand new row onto the table, all I do is I make sure I'm in the last cell of the table and I touch tab on my keyboard to add a brand new row onto the table. But what if I want to add a brand new row on partway through the table? Here's the steps I would go through. In this case, I want to put a brand new row where surgery is and push surgery, radiology, and that blank row down further. So I first of all click on the row that I want to use as a point of reference for moving, for inserting a brand new row. Then I take my mouse up to the top of the screen on this on-demand tools area called table tools. I want to change the layout of the table. So I click on the layout tab. It changes the look of the ribbon. And towards the left-hand side of the ribbon, I'm going to be using the insert above button, which means I'll put a brand new row in above surgery. But if I chose insert below, for example, it would put a brand new row in below surgery. So I'll click on insert above. It puts a brand new row in for me. And I click on the brand new cell and I'll type in another department name. And I'm now finished adding a brand new row into my table. Now, the reverse of this would be if I want to get rid of a row 
All I do is I click on the row I want to get rid of. In this case, it would be the last row on the table. I'll take my mouse up again. I'm already on the Layout tab under Table Tools. I'll go to the Delete button on the left-hand side of the ribbon and click. And I could use this, use this to get rid of a cell in the table, to get rid of a column in the table, to get rid of the entire table itself. In this case, I'll click on Delete Rows. That gets rid of the blank row, and I now have, have, have that that row is no longer no longer exists. Now it also pops me out of the table, so my on-demand tools go away. But for those who come back on again, all I do is I click back on the table to put put the on-demand tools back on again. The next thing I want to talk about is how you can change the width of your columns in your table. So first of all, I'm going to put my mouse on the dividing line between department and location. I'll get a set of double headed arrows. I'm going to hold my mouse button down and drag that to the left to make the first column a bit narrower. Another way I can do it is to automatically fit a column. So I'm going to take my mouse to the right on the line between location and staff. I'll get double headed arrows again and I'll do a double click this time. And it quickly makes the column only as wide as necessary. And I'll use that same technique on the far right side of the staff column. I'll get double headed arrows and double click, make that column narrower as well. So again, I can either do a drag technique or a double click technique. But I always have to put my mouse on the columns and getting the double-headed arrows before I can do that. And then the last thing I want to do is just make a formatting change to the table. So I'm going to make, a, make the first row look different. I'll take my mouse to the left of the first row outside the table. I'll get an arrow that points up and to the right. It's called the line selector. I'll click on that. A little quick formatting toolbar shows up. I'll use the little toolbar to click on the bold button. I'll move across. I'll use the center button. I want to change the color of the font, so I'll click on the drop down arrow next to the font color button and choose a color. And I want to add a maybe a background shade to it, so I'll click on the shading button and add a light color background behind it. And I also want to change the size of the font, so I'll go to the grow font button and click on that once or twice to make the font a little bit larger. And when I'm done, I'll click below, below the table and I can now see the changes that I've made to my table. So there you have it, some information about how you create a table in Microsoft Word, how you enter data into a table in Microsoft Word, and how you format information in your table in Microsoft Word. My name again is Joe Peterson. Thanks for watching the video. We have a lot more informational videos about how to become more effective as you use different Microsoft products. Our website is www.joecomputertips.com. Please visit our site. Have a great day.